My name is Jimmy Clark. Uh, I am the founder and owner of DDC Solutions. Uh, I started in the construction industry uh, in 1995, but uh, in, in uh, more of a professional capacity in the early 2000s. One thing that I realized in that career was that the whole BIM concept was a lot, the focus was on BIM in itself and we as a group, as a technical group, we, we forgot a little bit about what this was all, the, the purpose. By focusing too much on what is BIM, you know, Revit, all those kind of things, then we're losing focus on what we're trying to achieve. We're not trying to achieve BIM, we're not trying to achieve Revit, we're trying to achieve project delivery and in, and in reducing cost, reducing waste, reducing environmental impact, improving risk management in the businesses and the projects. The purpose wasn't BIM, the purpose was project delivery, but we, we kind of we forgot that a little bit. So, so the BIM dialogue became about needed to be BIM compliant. So it wasn't efficient, it wasn't applicable, it was, but it was service, serving the, the consultants a lot. Uh, eventually I thought, no, this is not the right way. So. Um, I thought I have a different approach, so I quit my job and set up DDC Solution. Putting the, the businesses and the projects and the people in focus in everything that we're doing and then utilizing technology process solutions service support to, to accommodate those businesses and those projects and those people to deliver those projects. Building a team that is supporting each other from the inside and it's not so much built on being the cog in the machine where you have a certain technical expertise that you need to come in and deliver eight, eight hours a day. This is more about integration of people and cultures and opinions and lifestyle where people have the freedom to be who they are in a natural state. So two of the United Nations goals, sustainable cities and um, economic growth, is closely related to what we are doing. So that kind of falls right on our frame of operation. Then what we need to do is to be able to provide our resources in a way that is suitable and functional for that business. We have a, a kind of a business value acronym we call TWICE, and that is the foundation for our operation on how we're approaching the, the businesses on the global level and uh, the project deliveries and the people that we're working with and, and working for. We have, uh, we have millions of people who are expected to migrate from areas of, uh, affected by drought. Colombia, Peru, Mexico, South Africa, Philippines and Vietnam. We need to provide solutions for these nations and the businesses in these nations so they don't go through the same mistakes that we did in the UK. It needs to start with further education. It needs to start with a real sound understanding on what the changes mean, why we need to make these changes and what the outcome of the changes are. The global construction industry needs to stop taking orders from BIM consultants. It's not the BIM consultants that drives the global construction economy, it's the businesses operating in that. And the consultants should be there as part of the team on that journey. We come up with a, with a, with a, with a mindset and a resource and a team and an outlook on the global construction industry where we feel like we can contribute uh, quite significantly. And, and the driving factor behind this is what is going on in the world in terms of environment. You know, drought issues, water issues, uh, mass migration of people, uh, emerging economies that don't have the infrastructure to support these new, uh, you know, influx, influx of people. And what we want to do is to take our resources and expertise and, and drive that we have at EDC Solutions now and put that into works into these new emerging economies to build safe, sustainable and nurturing environments where people can live and work and socialize and thrive. 
thank you very much for watching our video. Uh, please follow us on social media and uh, reach out if you have any questions.